Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release from Diamondback called the DBX 5.7, chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeter. I love this round, all right? It's fast, it's noisy, travels over 2,000 feet per second, and it's low recoil. A ton of fun, a lot of muzzle flash, and it just moves. And so it's a great round. A lot of companies are making firearms chambered in 5.7. It's made a huge comeback, and Diamondback is adding to that by creating the DBX. Now, they floated out pictures. It had to be six months ago, and I saw those, and I was like, whoa, 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 what is that? I haven't seen anything like that before. I learned it was in 5.7 by 28 millimeter, and then when I got it, I was shocked at how thin and lightweight it is. Check that out. Approximately an inch wide throughout and extremely light between three and a quarter and three and a half pounds. We're, we're going to get it on the scale, but the pictures don't do it justice when you actually see how small and lightweight it is. It's amazing. It does have an aluminum receiver and regular Magpul grip, AR interchangeable, AR mil spec trigger and 20 round magazines you see the mag release right there 21 20 round magazines i should say that are fn compatible all right so if you have fn mags you're good to go if not use this diamond bag mag should work just fine charging handle right here it can be reversed to the other side simply pull it out just like that you can move it over here put it in let's see there it is and you may notice that it is angled down a little bit that's so that you can get a nice easy grip on it without running into that rail right there aluminum rail it goes throughout all right and then the optic that i chose is a burst fast burst fast fire 2 and the reason i chose this little thing is because i wanted to keep it small and lightweight and that is small and lightweight so it's pretty well consistent with the rest of the firearm m-lock slots m-lock has been around a little bit and it is the wave of the future if you notice everything is going to m-lock it's so easy to install and take off and adjust and everything and this one here is no different eight inch barrel check out that flash hider made by diamondback all right, no aftermarket there. Straight from the factory, Diamondback. It, it looks super cool. And with the stainless barrel, I think it sets off really nice. And of course, the rail all up top. Now, the 1913 rail is here to stay for mounting optics, but M-Lock for everything else, in my opinion. But it also has a 1913 rail there, which you can add a brace, and that's what I have here. Now, this is a SB fs 1913 brace and you can just put it on like that i'll go ahead and finger tighten it to show if i could do this on camera here i believe so and that's what you're looking at right there okay you got the brace you have your optic you have your eight inch barrel and you have the 5.7 by 28 millimeter how can you go wrong with this setup Another thing that's a bit unique, I'll go ahead and take this off. Can't wait to get this to the range because I love the round and I know it's going to be excellent. The gas adjustable system has a number right there. All right, it's a piston, gas adjustable, four separate settings. It's set on the number two, right inside there, right above the barrel. You'll notice I, I can't quite get it because the table's in the way, but that's all right. There's a, you could use a Phillips head screwdriver to adjust the gas if you choose. Now, I'm going to keep it right here, but if you want to run it suppressed, you could do that. You want to run some suppressed uh, ammo, you could do that, and you could set it, but that's really not my flavor. I'm just going with the 40 grain federal 40 grain fn ammo be just fine I already mentioned 21 20 round magazines why do i keep saying 21 i'm thinking that you could always put around in the chamber for 21 total and that's what it would be but let's go ahead and check out the weight because this is pretty stunning three pounds one and three eight ounce we'll put an empty mag in there and that of course is with the 
little optic there so we're looking at three pounds three and a half ounces but if we take this 20 round magazine all right you can see loaded sight holes right there we will see we're looking at it's still under four pounds three pounds eight and five eighths ounces yep that's right and we'll go ahead and check clear the bolt can be held back by simply pulling it back and raise this up right there right you could run a, a boar snake through there clean out your barrel and then you could run it just with a mag change you could hit that down and load that next round also has a qd mount right there to add a single point you could actually put a full sling on with these m-lock slots but that would wouldn't make too much sense with a firearm this light and you know to put a full sling on would be a little overkill in my opinion but a single point would be best but check that out small lightweight seems extremely well built i can't wait to get this to the range sight that optic in and show you what it could do with the 5.7 by 28 millimeter but a super cool firearm really excited about it it's different it's unique it's lightweight it's small um, i'm not sure if i mentioned that the reciprocating or it does have a reciprocating charging handle so you, you you're out of the way your hands are out of the way either which way you have it on the right side or the left really shouldn't matter but there it is the diamondback dbx 57 and i'm super excited can't wait to get this beauty to the range if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe